Greetings, race fans! You've joined me for the Wild West Zones Race 3, Series 2 at Circuit Park Zandvoort in the Netherlands. It's a beach circuit, which is kind of interesting. Um, and uh, it's been kind of an interesting track to learn. It feels very much like a roller coaster to me for some reason, and I can't quite get past that. Um, it's a tough track, difficult to, to manage. And for me especially, I've had a hard time finding speed here um, in my... Um, private practices, I've gotten into the 141s, low 142s. Um, tonight I was actually able to get a practice lap down in the 41s um, and a lot in the 42s. But uh, my competition's definitely showing some speed. And uh, we did a prelude on Wednesday night. Um, we did a two heat format um, where um, we did a 20 minute first heat and then uh, did a full inversion of the finishers for heat two. And I was mid-pack both races in terms of my finish times. Um, and that's overall. Of course, we had all classes racing in the same race. I, uh, in class, I think I finished third in uh, both races, third or fourth um, in, in the sport class. So uh, Jeff Williams and Arnie Clayson definitely had speed over me, um, Arnie being the faster of those two um, traditionally. Um, so really, my best strategy going into tonight is really going to be about managing the race, staying out of trouble, and finding speed where I can find it without giving away the, the stability or the, the security of a, of a good race. Zero incidents would be my friend tonight, get, get me some extra points if I do finish behind the other two. Um, and of course, there are some wild cards in here, too. Uh, Matt is certainly fast. Um, Jeff Rosenthal is showing some speed. Um, so it's really going to be uh, about who has the luck tonight and uh, um, who can find speed when and where they need it. So it's going to be an interesting race. Uh, coming into this in the standings after two races, I am a single point ahead of the rest of the sport field with four people tied uh, with one point behind me. So um, if, if I don't uh, have a good finish tonight, I could wind up being uh, fourth or fifth in the standings by the end of tonight. So I'm hoping that I can come out here, keep my nose clean, and uh, just drive a steady race and then deal with the rest. Um, at this point, making up speed is not a possibility. I, I don't anticipate that I'll be able to make up speed magically tonight in the race, but weirder things have happened, and uh, who knows? Uh, somebody may run into some trouble, and uh, I, I luck out that way. Um, this is a tight course, so passing, um, a lot of people going off, um, so there's also a possibility that... Uh, Folks could get run off, including me. Um, um, I've been fairly lucky managing traffic in the races that I've run here so far, um, but uh, that can change. Um, so keeping a watchful eye on my race and just trying to survive. That's all I want to do, finish as best I can, and then hope that uh, I can qualify well at Long Beach next week. We're, we're uh, in Southern California's racetrack, street course, uh, Long Beach. It's a new addition to the iRacing platform, and uh, that is going to be a bloodbath. It's a tight, tight track. There are walls everywhere. I don't imagine anybody's going to finish with all their mirrors still attached, um, but it'll be a fun race, so I'm looking forward to that, um, and I don't think anybody has an advantage there, which is also kind of nice. Uh, it's a new track, so not a lot of people have run it very often, very much, including me. But, um, but that usually is an evening uh, of the field in terms of uh, just experience and capability and the tightness of the track. If you're even the slightest bit claustrophobic, Sorry, Steven. It, it, it'll definitely no cause some problems. We'll probably do a driver's meeting in a few minutes. You'll hear the sultry tones of Rodney Campbell giving us direction for the race. I, for one, find his words comforting before the race. I'm sure others do, too. He probably even finds it comforting himself to speak in the manner in which he speaks. Our fearless leader. Okay, folks, we'll get into our uh, quick uh, driver's briefing right here, right now. Just, uh, you can carry on on the track if you want. Let's uh, try and listen up. Welcome to race three of the uh, Wild West Zone Series 2. 
Uh, this race is open to all PCA uh, sim racers, uh, although it is an official race for the Wild West Zones for our Series 2 championship and qualifying for the zone runoffs. If we have any guests tonight, I didn't see if we did or not, I can't remember. But if we do have any guests out there, please be courteous and be cognizant that uh, people are driving at the points out there. Uh, tonight's uh, track is pretty tight, uh, so especially in early going with lots of traffic, uh, please uh, break early, uh, give room, uh, expect the backups at the corners, uh, and uh, be courteous. It's a tough track. With uh, There was a lot of offs in practice here, and I saw a lot of offs on the prelude on Wednesday as well, so be very careful coming back onto the track. Please check your relatives. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes it means waiting till the whole uh, field goes by, but that's uh, that's why. Um, also, be very careful exiting the pits after your pit stop. The car is coming streaming down the uh, the uh, the straight here and into a very tight corner. Uh, please don't uh, force them off the track as you burn your way back onto the track. Tonight's race is 40 minutes. As a reminder, there's no quick repairs, so please look after your cars. Uh, qualifying is three laps, ten minutes. As usual, try and keep the chatter off the radio as much as possible. And again, a reminder about the paint uh, templates for the WWZ uh, members. Is there any questions? I was just going to comment that at the feature on Wednesday, we all made it around to, I think, the tink before we had an off track. It was a really good starting lap. That's cool. Hopefully we can do the same here tonight and get everybody to get around. A day at the beach. You see what I did there? <laughs> Sand work, beach. <laughs> That's a good segue into my uh, announcement about next week. Next week we are at Long Beach, where we have uh, our official races, our heat races, similar to what we've been running in the uh, preludes. Um, there will be an announcement this weekend. Look in Discord, check your emails about the, the exact format of the races. Uh, but uh, they will be, as I mentioned, I think on Wednesday, will be standing starts, so not a rolling start, so standing starts. So get some practice in over the next week or so when your standing starts. Chip will be here all week. Don't forget to tip your waiters. <laughs> Thanks, Rodney. Okay, let's have some fun. Thank you, Rodney. Thanks, Rodney. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rodney. I also noticed we have 29 cars on the field tonight, so I'm a pretty good, pretty good grid here. Let's qualify. All clear on pit exit. You can push now. All right, Chip. We've got three laps. Let's get this done. Track temperature is decreasing. It's now 70 Fahrenheit. Little bit loose. 
both times. So I don't know if you get why I think it feels like a roller coaster, but I definitely do. Okay, let's get some. Too hot. Hopefully it didn't cost me too much, but I'm sure it cost me something. Too much, too much. Down, down, down. Woo. At least I held on to it. So this lap is gonna suck. Seven. Only two more laps of fuel. <laughs> Didn't even stop to look and see what the time was. I'll look after. This is the last lap of fuel.
Half a gallon remaining. And the beer end wants to come around. One and a half. I'll take it. So, I mean, 139, man. I could strip out all the seats, throw out the roll cage, and get buck naked and still never in my life do a 139. What the heck? So Matt, Frazier's right behind me. Michael Patterson, I don't know that name. Probably should. I think I've seen him before, but I don't. I don't know him. I don't know if he's in WWZ or if he's another zone. Arnie, how yep, qualified Arnie? Qualified Jeff. Although they could still be on final laps. I don't know. There's still time remaining. And Jeff. Holy crap. Oh, that ain't that ain't bad. Now I just need to survive the first lap carnage. There's plenty of race to get through before that's a good thing, I guess. minutes the track temp is 69 Fahrenheit all right follow car number 30 in the right column good luck everyone Luck, stay safe. Luck has nothing to do with it, gentlemen. Good skill.
Tā un tad pat teica, ka vēl vēl jūtu cīt. I'm watching him to see how he takes this corner. Slowly. No, I wasn't just scratching my butt, I was moving my keys around in case you were wondering. You might ask yourself, why does he have keys in his pocket? Well, I find I walk funny if I don't have keys in my pocket. But you say you're not walking, Chip. Yes, yes. But I don't like to go you find You folks, gapping off the back. Make sure you break early, come into the turn one. Don't run us over. It's the tight one. You guys up front, don't spin out in front of us. No, I can't promise that. And no promises there. Suddenly I feel like mid-pack peanut butter. Tighten it up, no hanging back. Okay, Chip, get ready. Go, go, go! There's an incident in turn two. Car off, car off. There's an incident in share flag, yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. There's an incident in the chicane. Sorry about that, Arnie. That was all me, wasn't it? So much for that zero X. Couldn't tell if anyone passed me after or if it was just all me. B17. I didn't hit you, but I went off and threw you offline. Yeah, I thought I'd made it slip through safely, but didn't.
Okay, Jet, the next car is Williams. Thank you. Seventeenth place. All right, Daisy. Okay, Chip, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. Go ahead, Walter. That was kind of uncalled for. that I can do nothing with. That's just sad.
Sorry about that, Jeff. That's all you. That worked, Jeff. Okay, Chip. Don't be intimidated by this little shit. Make him work for it. Sorry. All good. Find a way around, we're losing time. Shut up, Jim. There's an incident in the chicane. It looks like Scott.
Incident in turn two. Okay, Jim, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. You're on repeat, Jim. And he's driving steady, man. Not seeing mistakes. Rosenthal's driving his ass off tonight, too. Jesus. Take the inside, Derwin. Keep the pressure on. Don't give him a break. There's an incident in turn nine. Looks like it's Patterson. Yellow flag. Oh, great. It's already... That ought to make this interesting. Sixteenth place. Incident 10, turn 12. You think it might be Sheldon? Stick to the plan. Don't be intimidated here. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate.
Thank you, Stacy. Thanks, Stacy. All right, sir, I'll try to avoid you. 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes left. Okay, Chip, that's half distance. Should be about nine minutes of fuel remaining. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 9.7. I am so fucking pissed. Sector two is one point eight off the pace. Thank you, Michael. Welcome. God damn it. B-17, come on, mate. We really need to get the hammer down now. Yeah, no shit, Jim. There's an incident in turn eight. We think it might be Holmes. The car ahead is Holmes. Sector 2 is 0.9 off the pace. Home's the inside of is increasing. It's now 9.1 seconds. Thank you, appreciate it. I did go left side. Just done it. One for the team. One. Oh, sorry, man. I, I kind of understood there. All right. 
Jeff. The next car is Rogers. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Pitting in, pitting in. Rogers ahead is pitting. It's a car exit in the pits. The gap behind is now 10 seconds. P15. Fifteen minutes remaining, fifteen minutes to go. Stay calm, keep it smooth. Hitting in, Rick. Make your cars pitting. Waltman is leading the race. Sector 2 is 0.8 off the pace. Man, I'm fitting in this lap. Okay. The gap in front has increased to 7.4. Right, Stephen. Car in front is pretty. Incident in Tarzanbot. Thanks, Michael. Activate limiter. Okay, Chip. We'll fill you to the end of the race. 300 feet. The stewards have called us into the pits for repairs. 100 feet. The car behind's pitting. That was just so stupid, I can't even put it into words. Damn it. Thanks, Daisy. Okay, Chip. Ten minutes to go. Okay. That's ten minutes left. Keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. Can't keep it any more smooth than this, Jim. I am literally sitting still. This is as smooth as it gets.
I'm sure it's going to be a broken tea kettle too going around the track after this, even with the repairs. So I've still got almost six minutes of optional repairs. Yeah. After the 11 minutes of required repairs to even get back on track. And I'm not going to sit here for another six minutes after this expires. It takes it's clear. Yellow flag. Watch out. There's an incident in Tausenbacht. It looks like it's Holmes. <laughs> Steering is seriously jacked. Interesting. What the hell? Blue flag.
out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 37 miles per hour. You've got plenty of fuel. 300 feet. 100 feet. White flag, one more to go. I'm gonna take a look at that turn because I didn't I thought I gave him plenty of room. So that was fun. Um Disappointing race on a lot of different levels. Um, let's actually just quickly look at the results here. Um, top three, uh, Jonathan Waltman, um, Derwin Kostanak, and Rich Minkler all um, uh, in pro class. Finished one, two, and three overall. Um, Rich had the fastest lap of the race at 140.068, which is pretty darn fast um, for a race lap. Um, pretty, pretty impressive um, in terms of pace. Um, we got... Uh, bunch of uh, club and pro guys and then we get to our first sport class finishers the class that i'm in jeff rosenthal drove a heck of a race um and won uh in class fast time 142.719 which is pretty awesome um jeff williams finished not far behind him and arnie in third uh after that where did i finish well i finished behind james and behind matt down here, 26th overall, 6th in class, um, fast lap of 142.769, not great, but not horrible. Um, what really cost me were some stupid things, had a total of 6 incident points, a um, couple of spins, and um, smacking the pit wall on pit entry. Um, disappointing. But, you know, as you saw, uh, wound up uh, miscalculating um, uh, the car in front of me that uh, came back on the track after and off and got in between myself and Jeff Williams and uh, wound up uh, not, not pedaling quite right and spinning. And, of course, Arnie um, was unable to avoid me and drug me a little ways, which was kind of fun. Um, and then after I got back on track, um, then it was just kind of putting the blinders on and running. And uh, that actually had a net effect of actually being quite effective and running the guys down. I was catching up um, and uh, not super fast. And but I but I'm pretty certain I probably could have could have uh, eventually caught back up to them uh, at, after pits. Um, they all pitted. Um, I was trying to do a really uh, awe inspiring in lap and wound up uh, overcooking it losing the rear end and smacking the wall on pit entry. And of course, uh, nobody's going to survive a race uh, where you have uh, mandatory repairs of 12 minutes. Um, that was pretty much race over for me. I did manage to get back out there ahead of Matt uh, Mardini, who had had an incident of his own and was uh, seven laps down, but uh, got back out on track. Evidently, required repairs don't necessarily mean the car's drivable. Um, the rack, steering rack was horrible. My wheel was upside down. I had a dead zone in the middle of the wheel that was basically a full radius uh, um, side to side, um, 180 degree um, dead zone, which was kind of weird. Um, felt bad uh, for Ed. Uh, I uh, um, wound up because of the steering issue. I parked myself on the apex, telegraphed that pretty hard, um, and uh, he was coming around me, but evidently he didn't compensate well enough and wound up spinning. I think I cost him a couple of positions. And apologized after the race uh, again Ed, uh, very sorry for that that uh, didn't didn't mean to be the mobile chicane that wrecked your race so i hope that uh, there are no hard feelings there um and then after matt got by me there was no point in staying on track anymore and causing any more damage so i pitted in and uh, called it uh called it race over disappointing um could have been a decent race um there was that section there in the middle of the race that was actually quite exciting with uh with jeff rosenthal jeff williams and myself and arnie all in a in a train uh, racing pretty hard um that felt really really good um and it was a shame that it got interrupted and uh wound up uh just sort of setting things in motion for a downhill ski um that's uh <laughs> a bummer um, net, net of it all, um, I came into this race one point ahead of the, uh, I think three or four people that were tied behind me, um, one point behind me. 
Um, this race finishing sixth in class pushes me down the stack where I am now fourth by one point and six points out of first place, which doesn't sound like a lot, except that uh, there's only a point in difference between positions um, in the races. So uh, isn't a lot of opportunity um, for me to make up a great deal of points to get back to the top of the stack again. Um, I may be able to wiggle back up a little ways, but I'm probably not going to finish where I had hoped uh, in, in terms of overall class. And, and you know, that's, that's racing, I guess. Um, Long Beach is going to be a bloodbath, so somebody could have a bad race. I doubt that all three of them will, but somebody could, um, and it could uh, could move me back up a little ways. Long Beach, uh, a lot of folks tested that out this week. The uh, cup cars uh, were at Long Beach in the iRacing series, and uh, a few people were talking about giving it a try and saying that they're actually a little bit nervous <laughs> going into Long Beach. The tough track, it's really tight, uh, high walls. Um, there's going to be a lot of carnage um, and probably a lot of DNFs um, as part of that race. So it'll be it'll be entertaining at least. So please join us next week. Uh, for Long Beach, it should be should be fun. Thanks for for coming along for the ride. Sorry I didn't do better, um, but uh, there's a section in the race at least that was a little bit entertaining. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, thanks again. Bye.